welcome. We believe the message you're about to listen to will greatly impact your life richly. Remain blessed as you listen. I like the way you clap for the Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We spent so much of our time today. <laughs> you know, service is not it's not the ready made arrangement we know. It's not always supposed to be like that. If we are a people that are led by the Holy Spirit, there are some times you allow him to take over. Hallelujah. Like today. Amen. The arrangement was that I'm going to take you people today on the imp- another discipline. Another key to accessing the top. Hallelujah. I'm going to be very brief because I've used so much of our time. Another key to accessing the top. There's a place called the top. And not everybody's on the top. Eh? If you check around, the rich are very few. The poor are plenty. Eh? Am I saying the truth? Or I'm not saying well. Hmm? Rich are very few. Why? Why? Now, <laughs> Minister Philip has answered. Why is it supposed to be like that? In fact, when you are trying to make people rich, some people will call you by the side and say, What are you trying to do? One day I had one business deal that I was doing. So the business deal I saw prospecting. In fact, I sold my car. To help everybody around me, bought the business deal for them. So somebody whispered to me, said, ah, okay. If you make everybody rich, who will serve who? <laughs> Believe a tongue talking, Holy Ghost field. But I didn't see any reason why everybody should be rich. Say, leave some people, let them be. Accessing the top is not very cheap. One of the keys that will help you to access the top is discipline. And very, not very plenty persons are disciplined. Hallelujah. People like the easy way up. It's normal. People like the easy. In fact, we are in the season, the world of what an indomie world right now. People want what is fast. Microwave. Cook this thing quick. Don't waste my time. Sharp, sharp. To stay on course in the world we are, you need discipline. Or else you can never stay on course. In the world of many distractions. Distraction is everywhere. Distractions were not plenty those days like that. Not like these days. Yeah. Carry your phone to make call. You see a distraction. Huh? It takes discipline. To see those women that pop up on the phone. When they pop up. Never to click it. Eh? Some people, when they, those women, those internet women, you are checking John 3.16. What concerns John 3.16 with the woman with bringing out his booze? The woman will come out first, then John 3.16 will appear. Am I saying the truth? 
To stay on course is a lot of discipline. Take the disciplined man to just wipe. This is not what I was searching for. Move away from the road. Sometimes you see people, they are searching for something else. Once that thing that appeals to your flesh comes out, you click it. Whoop, and face it. Why are these women like this? Why is this world getting so bad? You are watching them. Uh-uh. 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 man no go rest again but your eyes on it eh? oh the, the devil has taken everywhere eh? what the world where are we going to your eyes there something is entering your head it takes discipline to stay on course great people are disciplined people Hallelujah. It is discipline that will keep a man one place. One place. If you see an evil man prospering in his ways, it's discipline. Take discipline to stay in the shop. Nobody is knocking at the shop. You are still there. You didn't jump up and say, let me go and see Sister Ngozi. Why are you going to see Sister Ngozi? Eh, nobody came today. No. Stay there. It also takes discipline to stay on the eggs. Stay in the shop is staying on the eggs. Like I mentioned the last time, staying in the shop, staying on the eggs also nothing happens. Eh? It's a boring place. Process is not very sweet. How can you just stay one place? You are doing nothing. In quote. No, but you are doing something. Somebody will one day say, that shop is always open from so, so, so time to this time. Go there, you will see it. Why? There is a disciplined person that is handling the shop. Whether people are there or they are not there, it should be, it should be said. If you go here, you will catch this person. Takes discipline not to be late. Some persons they know you as late comer. Takes discipline to stay one place. One day I will tell me the ministers this this story all the time. A young man was playing keyboard. The church had rented a hotel facility. So the young man was on the keyboard, playing keyboard. So somebody that was staying in the hotel facility had lodged from the UK, US, that day, had the guy on the keyboard. He was enjoying himself. Just the keyboard. He said, I will attend that church. Because the strings, the way the guy was playing it, it was amazing. The spirit of God was high. The man walked down, took his bath, dressed up, came down. So by the time the man would enter the, the hall, the keyboard is kept his phone on the, on the keyboard. And saw that somebody was calling him. So he quickly told them, Z, please help me stay on this keyboard. I'm coming. He went to go and answer the call. So went to answer the call. As he went to answer the call, Z was on the keyboard. The man walks in and saw Z. Instead of the person that was playing, thinking that the Z is the person that caught his attention. So when he came there, he saw the zeal. He said, after service, it was not too long, pastor took over. They continued out there. The main keyboardist that blessed him was distracted. So when he came up, after the close of service, he said, pastor, I want to see this young man. 
So the pastor brought the young man, he blessed the church and all of those stuff. He said, I wanted to see this young man that while you were playing keyboard, I was upstairs. I could not rest. My spirit connected with this man. I want to sponsor this man outside the country, sir. The man just stood up and said, ah, is it these 10 minutes that I played here? He took the man, the distracted man. Oh, you will not miss your blessing because of indiscipline. Distracted man. That was the owner of the blessing. Missed out. Took this man, the UK, US, blessed the man, sponsored him this man, got married there, did everything. After 10 years, the story started unwinding. How this man, he said, when I was about to bath, something happened while they was playing. The man knew that, oh, I am not actually the man that was on the keyboard that blessed you. Indiscipline. Why are you in the church? And you are making calls and answering calls. Is heaven calling you? What call is that important? That you cannot silence it and keep it in one place. It takes discipline to stay on course. Man missed out on something powerful that would have helped his life and family. Hallelujah. If you see a man who does the normal things without anybody guiding him, he's a disciplined person. Self-discipline. Some people, they will have to tell you, you have no iron on your cloth. Iron it. Before you iron it, you are not. Self-discipline. You reach the point you tell yourself, no, this one I'm about to do it is not supposed to be. You leave it. You are a self-disciplined man. Discipline is the practice of training oneself. I was telling you yesterday that the level you are on these drums now, you don't need anybody to train you. There are some points we get to, you need to train yourself. It takes discipline to stay there until you see what you are dreaming for comes to pass. Hallelujah. Training oneself to achieve a specific goal. That's self-control. Hallelujah. Discipline will help you to narrow down. Narrow down. It's not everything everybody is doing you to to enter inside. It's not. It's not everything everyone is doing that you should enter inside. The outcome of your life, you are responsible for it too. How your life will become, you are responsible for it. Don't blame anybody. I hate people who are quarreling people. They did not help me. What? Who oh, have time? I have my own children and my wife. I have not finished solving the problem. I should be leave everything I'm doing and come to you, your own family, your own wife, and your own children. No, now it takes discipline. Narrow down. Everyone is responsible. You are responsible for your life. Are you hearing me? You are responsible. People that walk, walk with many. People that run, run with a few. You know, if you go outside here, this park road here, you see many persons, you see many people that walk.
walking. I passed in one of those days. I, I saw that the, the place is crowded. That extreme end. There are many persons walking. Walking down. On the road. There are many. But when you start to run, not many persons are running. Hmm? And when you start to fly, you fly alone. Have you ever seen two planes saying, let's be going together? Eh? We are friends. No, you see the plane, they are up alone. Yeah. Going. <laughs> eh? You see the plane moving here. Yeah. Going. You must generate enough power that when you are alone there, you will fly well. That's why I'm doing all these things. So. Because you get to a point where it's quiet, it's silent. Discipline that you have now is generating energy. Enough that when you are up there, you to sustain you. Have you ever seen the plane towing the plane? Eh? The weight is too much. How can a plane do a plane? It's only one comedy. I saw they wrote one plane, they wrote Nigeria. And that plane trying to tow this and it was dropping down. Plane does not tow plane. You come to a point in life, you need the energy you have generated to stay there. Discipline is a form of generation of energy. Eh? You don't know. To stay there. It's not even the flying that is the issue. It's staying there. <laughs> and how efficient you manage yourself, how well you manage your life will determine the outcome of your life. Some people, the reason where they are where they are is because of lack of management. In discipline, everything goes. Everything goes. Everything. Let's go to Zuba. Oh, yeah. Where is the car? They enter. People don't manage time. Lack of management of time. Everybody has 24 hours. Some use it to sleep. Why some are studying? Why some are making ways for themselves? You will never rise above what you have imputed. The world is still looking for people who have something to offer. What have you generated to offer? Some of us have nothing to offer. What do you do? Nothing. What can you do? Nothing. And you are still sitting down. No. People will come to you when you have... Your number will ring if you have a service to give. Nothing to give. Who is calling you? Why should they call you? To greet you. Who has time to be greeting you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, hold on. I'm coming. No, no. I was calling him, calling him, he's not answering me. He's busy. He's busy, I bet. Six o'clock, you are calling from to, to say hello. Some people, as early as 6 a.m., they are greeting you, hello. Then, when you even try to answer, I will try to answer one or two. Hi, how is everything? They will say, fine. How are you doing? This early morning. I thought maybe there's something, an emergency you want to talk to me on. Then you ask me, how are you doing? You, you want to be greeting. You carry your phone early in the morning and you are greeting people on WhatsApp from morning till 10 o'clock. You will never go anywhere. People don't climb up like that. What are you putting inside your life to make you attractive? Indiscipline. Wake up in the morning and put jargons inside of your mind. It takes discipline. 
some people as they are becoming cautious, their hand is reaching the phone. What is happening on Facebook now? What? It's a law in my house. Nobody owns television in the morning. It's a law that nobody plays. It just happened like that. Nobody plays the law. You wake up in the morning on the television. In fact, even gospel channels, we don't even play it. Everybody is trying to build something around his life. I didn't put the law. I didn't put the law. Manage your life well. Hallelujah. Work on yourself. Working on yourself without supervision, you are a disciplined person. At 20 years, you still need supervision to do everything. At 15, I mean, 30 years, you still need supervision. If you see pastor, you behave well. If he's not there, you don't do, you do what you want. You are not disciplined. Hallelujah. The worth of your life is determined by how well you discipline yourself. Hallelujah. Self-control. Control yourself. Is discipline. Every man naturally loves woman. Philip, did I say lie? I said every man naturally loves woman. And sometimes we like another man's wife. Hmm? Natural, natural. man is attracted. I don't know about women. Women can also, are, are also attracted to men, right? Every young lady. But what keeps you from not touching another woman that is not called your own is what? Discipline. Who don't like to be hugging women up and down? Everybody, you say, find girl you are attracted to. It takes discipline. To say, no, this is not correct. Then you hug. Then you chest hug. Then you plan and go into places that are not supposed to be. And you enter into mess. Some women, some girls have spoiled their life. Their destiny with one mistake. In this. Indiscipline. Tell yourself, I will not be indisciplined. Setting order over your life. Set order. Setting order over putting boundaries. This place is a no go area. Set order. It takes discipline. In this world, you are alone inside the room. But you didn't Google nude pictures. It takes discipline. That is because you are building your life. What you keep putting inside of your life is the pictures that will become who you are. So it takes a lot of discipline to hold the phone, to hide your data. You bought your own data. But you discipline yourself because of where I am going. Don't need to be engaging in this. Why? I'm going somewhere. It's a lot of discipline. Not everything that is lawful is expedient. Not everything that is lawful is expedient. There are some things that normal human beings, even society, will say that no, this is not correct. You have your life to live on. It's not another person's life. Oh. We understand. We understand. But not everything that is lawful is expedient. 
Hallelujah. You must practice self-control. Hallelujah. You must do what? Regulate your thoughts. Regulate your life. Put boundaries around your life. Regulate your emotions. There are some emotions that are rising up. You know that this one's a bad one. Kill it. You have the power to kill bad emotions. Eh? If you don't kill them, some people, I don't like this girl. I don't like, but you are always calling her. How are you? How is everything? I just called to greet you. And you come back to tell Pastor, eh, but he is tempting me anytime I go around him. I don't know why. Is this when you finish the talk with Pastor, you go back and come. To Hi, that's all. You don't know that high has put people in the grave. Eh? Hi, just hi. Eh, I just greeted him. Why did you why are you watching what you don't want to grow? Don't water what you don't want to grow. The natural instinct is that once there's enough water, enough manure, it will do what? It will grow. There are some relationships in your life you should kill. Put hot water on them. Thank you, sir. You carry nice water. Hello. You didn't miss me, ba? <laughs> you didn't miss me, ba? There are so many distractions everywhere. Young people ask a man, a woman, who courted his wife well and the peace they enjoy in marriage, ask me. Courted my wife for long, four or five years before we got married. There was no single sex in between. You don't know that that sex has a way of bringing distrust between couples. And if that ingredient called trust is not inside the marriage, there's a problem. Hmm? Why did you greet that sister? If I was a pastor, I've seen pastors that their wife are accusing them. Why did you greet the sister like that? When you are preaching your eyes for a pastor, he should preach and close his eyes. Because this trust is in the family. If there's trust in that relationship, you guys can fly to any level. One of the things that abstaining yourself before marriage does is rebuilding trust. Discipline yourself. You are responsible. I want to keep re-echoing that for the outcome of your life. You are responsible. Everybody likes to sleep and rest. But what makes the difference with other people, the ones that wake up early to do things while you are sleeping, is discipline. Hmm? Everybody wants to take juice. Please give me one cup here. I like yogurt so much with granola. Ah, I like it. If you want to bless me. I'm not really a chicken person like that. If you think you are blessing me, you are giving me chicken. No. It doesn't shake me like that. <laughs> yeah, it's getting you are looking at me. It shakes my wife very well. Everybody has his love language. Eh? My love language in food is not chicken. Eh? Give me juice. Give me uh, what they call it. Tokura is calling one of my drinks. Tribina. I prefer, sometimes when you go to good places, they think that they will give you malt they are doing you good. If you do me malt, you are not doing me good as giving me a Coke. It's not in the price. It's in what I love. Eh? I don't really like malt like that. I enjoy Coke. If I drink it, I'll be shaking my leg like this. The good old Coke. Eh? But it takes discipline 
not to take it to stupor, to become mumu. You see food in a wedding ceremony. You eat, give me a small offer. Give me the small uh, rice. Give me the, ah, like Amala, Amala, we do. You eat that one. Ah, this salad has been long. You are eating Amala, you are adding salad on it. It's been long, I ate salad. Then you start the shrimps. You eat everything on the table. You are not a disciplined person. The last time I went for a dinner with my wife in Transco, I told myself, I ah, really done favor, you have grown. Because we were in the, we had paid for the place. So everything in the setting, you can stay there till 12 midnight and just be eating. It has been paid for. So we will go around like this. You will see the food. Everything they will like everything is there. We will go around again. Everything. So you will start with starter. Eat from this one. Jesus, I give this your eyes white. It's brown. That was from few months ago. Oh lovely eyes. We just said. Eh? Then go back and take some of the meat. Come on. But it's mumu, it's indiscipline to see that this is, and you can't carry it out, that's the funny thing. The rule is that you eat as much as you can, but don't touch it. Let no take away carry, not teach you enter your bag. <laughs> so it is indiscipline. The result of indiscipline in that place is purging. The result of indiscipline in that place is what? Is purging. Eh? You see, he ate, he ate, see, ah, please rub oil on my belly. I ate too much. Why would you put you? <laughs> Are you eating the last supper? Even if you that the last supper, I don't think they ate like that. Jesus didn't eat like that. It takes discipline to see the goodies of life and know what is for you. This one is going my route. Even though you see everything, you know what is for you. It takes discipline to see the man. This one is driving through seven cars. But this is the man that is going my route. Let's go here, sir. Some people have regretted taking steps like that. Don't make choices on the physical things. It's not in car. Those things, they disappear. But the real man remains. Some people are married arm robbers. Because of the material things. Yahoo boys. People don't even value values again. It takes discipline to stay on course. If you want to rise high, please be disciplined. This house, I'm not qualified to stay in this house for now. Okay? Don't pay for it. Who are you trying to show? Who even visit you in Abuja? People visit you like that. Who has that time? Bible says in the last day, people have been lovers of themselves. I can't even tell when last somebody came to my beautiful house. My house is beautiful. But sometimes I come down and look at the sit and look and just say, I like it for myself. Who has time? Who is visiting people's houses? Then you gather everything, your whole life savings and put in a house and remain hungry. You wake up and look at the house and you are hungry. Or buy iPhone and was going there. 
and then you are turning. People don't even know what is iPhone. Not everybody who has that time. Look at the great people. Look at the phones they use. A phone you never make use of. You are not even using the features. It's only to snap picture and post on Facebook. You are in discipline. And you are looking for transport money. Do you know how much that phone is? Most of them have a one point something. That's the capital. And you carry one point something million around and buy a phone. And what are you doing? You do nothing. You are not disciplined. You are not wise. I taught you the other time on first things first. There's what you do before others come. The first time I bought a phone worth 300,000, they forced me to buy it. I was just like, carry this money. I didn't even move my money. They, it was forced. Oga, just buy this phone. I said, I, I will look the phone up now. I didn't pay for it. But after they paid for me, I discovered that I needed it. I'm using it for the course of the work. But say yes. At every point, because you saw some of you people, your phones are more expensive than even the phones we are leaving you are. One young man came to me early days that sir, my landlord is after me, is chasing me, blah 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 blah. And he was talking to me and was holding. Those times, China phone just came up three seams. If you had a phone that had three seams, you were a big boy. Guess how much was my rent when this boy was asking me? My rent was 24000 That phone they bought soon was 60000 His rent eh, was 9000 naira. He had a phone of 60000 So while he was talking to me, the pastor that was pastor, Peter, this is your boy. Oh, you stack of phone is this? What money? Where is, is he working in Shell? I said, me, I don't know. You were doing sound engineer in church. Then ten cover. You got out your whole life saving. No business. Then you buy China phone with three cents. You want to show everybody with three cents. So when he's talking, and as he was begging me for. 9,000, he was removing that this thing that used to remove like this. The stick. No one stick used to be inside. They remove like this. They will be pressing it. Cut, cut, cut. And he was pressing it. I said, mm, big man, me, give you one copper. Copper. Shishi. Shishi. It's a lot of discipline. Don't go to the hunger that is higher than you in the shop. Spend all the money on clothes. This guy thinks he dresses well. I will show him how they dress. Prepare them gang. First time I wore a show of 100,000, a friend bought it for me. Even when I bought it, I said, ah, ah. only me. When I saw the receipt, I said, ah, ah, only me. In fact, when I compared the shoe, it takes a very close look to know that this shoe is more expensive than this one. Who oh, has time to be looking at shoes like this? Oga, ma, be disciplined. Stay on course. People who stay on course are on top. Flying. You are busy complaining and complaining here every day. If you are not disciplined, you can never be a first class student. Never. All these three things are these three Ds. I have mentioned they are in common. The first D was what? Dream. Second D was what? Determination. And the third D is what? Discipline. They are they marry together. When you have a dream, you must be so disciplined to stay on course. Stay on course. Stop jumping up and down. Let us go here. No, the dream is not like this. So stay here. All those offers that don't marry with your dream, Oga, okay, 
Ma, leave them alone. Discipline will say, leave this one is not going where you are going to. Leave them alone. It takes determination to stay there. It's biting me. Stay. It's paining me. Stay. I woke up today early to put a few things down on this. It's 3 a.m. 2 something, 2 30 something. But if I didn't put my thoughts down, maybe I'll be thinking of what to say. If you see somebody doing well in his field, he suffered something. He suffered something. You don't want to suffer anything. You just want it bright. It's a lie. You are planning to fail. It's discipline that will make you to suffer small something. For the goal set ahead of you. Hallelujah. And I will end today by saying all the great people you know in scriptures ask David he was a disciplined man ask Joseph Joseph saw the woman the woman that he was serving oh fine boy oh what's going on come and help me scrub my back he came scrub the back some more Madame said, ah, You know, scrub me well now. Come close now. You see, happen you. <laughs> when you see a rich man, woman, that will better my life. That's what the young boys will say now. Hey, my life done better. There's something greater ahead of you. You are falling for the woman that you are going to be, is going to be your, your, your servant. That woman eventually served Joseph. The guy flee from fornication. He ran away. Eh? Instead of me to eat free lunch, so that be free, you eat, you clean your mouth. They give you a small car. You are driving. You know when you start doing that, the woman will start anything that concerns you, Joseph. And you go and tell the husband, please allow Joseph to carry us. So Joseph would have been enjoying, not knowing that there was a higher place. Or God, there's a higher place more than what you are enjoying here. Even we in the, in the fold, we have to discipline us. Ask uh, Adeboye, Pastor E. Adeboye. Do you know he had a problem with women? He would do hello, hallelujah. God bless you. And he would go and go and start chasing the women. One day he wakes up and tells himself, I can't remain here. It's not because you are in the choir or you sing well. Forget about that choir issue. Forget about that pastor issue. There are some pastors that are not disciplined now. He wakes up and tells himself, if I will go to the level God wants to take me, I have to drop women. And he dropped them like caught iron. He will preach, finish. The sisters, they think that they are doing service to God by coming to give themselves to the man of God. It's still happening in the church. Some of us are pursuing ministry and everything. You have to be disciplined in all angles of life. I will end by saying one aspect of discipline has a way of affecting another aspect of your life. That discipline that makes you to wake up in the morning and dress your bed is the same discipline that will make you to remember that I need to read for this exam. How do you have exam? It's tomorrow. You are saying, I will read later. Tomorrow, later you say, I will read later. You procrastinate till the time of the exam. That's when you are reading. Doing till TDP. So that after the discipline, you go and sleep. You are not disciplined. I'd like you to stand up on your feet and ask God for help. Discipline my finances. Help me. The three Ds are over. I'm heading for the three Cs. I'd like you to pray and ask the Lord, help my discipline. Help my life. Help my life. Help my life. Help my life of discipline. 
um, some of you spend more than what you earn. Oga, ma, it's wrong. It's wrong. Stop proving to people. You don't, who are you proving to? Don't spend more than what you are earning. The normal culture is that leave a little bit, 20% of your earnings. If you are earning 100,000, be living at 80,000. That's when you can save. Some of us have no saving anywhere. You are good. I've seen people who have worked very hard. I saw a man of recent that has worked very hard and retired where he's supposed to collect about 250 million as retirement benefit. And I beg to tell you that he retired and squandered everything and is looking for 10, 1 million. It's less than how many years? In discipline. Don't say when it comes to this point, I will discipline myself. No, if you cannot do it now, you are heading to disaster. What time do you have? What you have is now. Don't spend everything you have. It's the discipline that tells you that, Oga, you enter the shop for this. Pick it. Leave the rest. I fought Chawama in my house very strongly at the point I won the battle. Eh? The other one they call it pizza. It's 14,000. Do you know what 14,000 can do for other families? Get me. How many pot of soup can that cook? Oh God, you will win it all. I want the battle finally in my house. My children don't like to hear this. But pizza is expensive, sir. I'm not in the society of eating pizza all the time. Once in a while, no problem. But to say every week, eh, it's pizza. Say somebody is sick there. When he's sick, he says it's because it's pizza. Is this pizza sickness you are falling here? Don't bring that pizza nonsense here. 14,000? And you eat it Monday. You eat it Wednesday. You eat it Friday. Saturday, we have to go out. Do you know how what is going? Calculate it. I know how much you are spending. How much is your salary? Some people don't even mind that. Oh God, there are several pizzas. You can do more and more. How much is it? It's more than pizza. Put all those things you put inside. What, what are you talking about? Put them. I'll tell my wife, cut carrot, put this one, put everything. It's even more healthy. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Including you. <laughs> Please have discipline to your life. Stop living your life anyhow. If you don't do it now, ma. You will never do it tomorrow. Discipline will tell that wake up, wake up, wake up. People are up. Wake up. If nobody's there to wake you, you can't wake up. Eh? Responsibility is what makes you stand at attention. Some of you have no responsibility. So you just do anything anyhow. I'd like you to pray. This is not just looking at me. I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, help me. In where I fail, you, you know where you are, meet, you are missing it. You know why you are not up. You know why you are not up. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. I'd like you to open up your mouth and say, Lord, help me to be disciplined. Some of you, it is the area of your health. Area of your health. In Jesus' name. One day, I was praying, praying, in a meeting like this. As I would close my eyes to pray, I was worshiping and praying. And then the Lord tells me, tell this woman, if she does not take care of her health, in three months she's a dead woman. It was a very difficult message to tell to somebody. I saw death passing like this. It will pass like this. 
I call her, Madam, tell her, told me to tell you. In three months, if you don't take care of your health, it was a very bad time to start news to say. But I said it. She went on her knees. After she came to explain to me what had been told her many, many times, how to do this, do this, she had ignored the doctors. I said, ignoring the doctor is not fake. Stupidity. Stop putting junk in your system. It didn't don't mean it to you. Your own, once you see coke, you will take coke. I've fought that in my life as well. You will die and leave who with those children. As you, as you keep growing, age will tell you. The things you are doing smoothly, you can't do them again. I told myself a few days ago, I'm going back to my jogging. There was a season in my life, I was jogging two hours, one hour, 30 minutes daily. And I knew how I sat, I, my, my system changed. That was the time I started staying in the office. It was not easy for me to be jog, I would wake up, exercise. How many people do that? The white people live longer than us. They are disciplined. Some of us, are not even quali- you are not yet qualified to die. But you kill yourself because no discipline. Discipline yourself. Your health. Pay attention to it. Close the door if you know you cannot buy mosquito coil. Don't be careless. You are careless to your health. You are sick. You can't spend one error to treat it. But you can use the other this the one that to buy data and be sick and browse in sickness. They will stop the same on the parents pray for me. You bought data, you can't buy drugs. I bought this online, pray for me. Wrap themselves like that. What are you looking for? Lord, help me, help me. May I be disciplined? Open up your mouth and pray. Help me to be a disciplined young man. Be a disciplined woman. Mala roko shaga da bala roko. Rako tofala roko shaga da bala roko shaga da bala da bala. It is that same discipline. Listen. Sorry, I'm going to round up. I feel a body in my heart to round these three days properly. It is that same discipline that will make you to keep quiet when your husband is talking. There are, not, there are times you don't need to keep talking. Some of your relationship problems in marriage and relationship because you talk too much. Learn to be quiet sometimes. If you carry your hand and slap your wife, you are not a disciplined person. You couldn't control hand. Hand. If you are not a disciplined person, you would woman 24 hours. The woman thinks differently from the way the man thinks. Two different human beings. You are a man. You are beating your girlfriend, you will beat your wife. You are stupid to be collecting beating the girlfriend relationship. And she took your head inside. You don't see any red signal. They will kill you in the marriage. You are beating her in relationship. He say just slap. Just slap. Okay. It takes a lot of discipline. If we are all disciplined in marriage, know your boundaries. Don't enter the woman's angles. Woman, don't enter. You love woman. Do, it takes simply to do these things. Everything all in compass in one. Finally, pray that Lord help my life, help my discipline. It's not just in business, in everything. It's in everything. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Play, play, play. You reign, you ancient Zion. Rakoto Kadosh Kadosh You are mighty on your titles. Please come up quickly. It takes discipline to pay time. Listen. 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 Let me mention that one before I collect this title. It takes discipline. Today, I remember that I had the title to pay. And I finished the whole money. I told my wife. And I was trying to get money from the other account. I saw my app was not working. 
please send me my tithe. I don't want to play with it. One out of ten, you eat everything, including the one. You are not a disciplined person. If the nine is not enough, is it that one? If you cannot pay tithe from a thousand naira that you get, or okay. gas, one million naira tithe is hard to pay. I've been there to remove 100,000. From the 1 million, then it becomes 900, no longer 1 million. You don't know. You'll be telling us, ah, I wish this thing was 1.2 like this, so that the 1 would not remain. You are not disciplined. Bible says, this is the way the windows of heaven will be open for you. And you want windows of heaven. And you are not doing what the windows will be open. You are not a disciplined person. Give to the Lord. Give it to Him. It's a form of discipline. Don't eat your tight, okay? It's a key. It's one of the keys that will help us climb up. It's not the my final kilo that you pay tight doesn't mean you shouldn't go out and walk home. That you pay tight doesn't mean you shouldn't be disciplined. You know? That you pay tight it should empower your determination, right? You can pay the tithe and not do any of these things and come back to me that you pay the thing no work. Now you now make no make and work. Me, I'm telling you many things that will make it work. You are mighty on your throne. Tithe that song. Let me pray for you. You reign. You reign. You reign. Shantayoki. I like to be praying this every day. That's what we empower you. You are mighty. Adding the soup of the night. Say it again. You read, you read. Check yourself this week. You, if you got 1,000, bring it up. 100 naira. Say, discipline man. Bala Rokosha. We add the natural, the super to this natural. Say it again. You read, you read, you read, you read. You read, you read, you read, you read. Super to the natural. Bless your feet. Say it again. You you rain, rain, you rain. Rain. You rain. Bless the walk of your feet. Prosper, Balarubaya. Prosper. In the field, prosper. At home, prosper. You rain, you rain, you rain. You rain, you people.